When I go fishing on my kayak, I like to use a fish finder. This is the one I use right here. It's a low Rance Hook 2 9 inch screen. And one of the issues that I commonly had when I first got it was a lot of glare on that screen. So what I did is I put together a 15 minute uh, version of a Kydex sun visor for it and I really don't like it. It's way over complicated. It's way too bulky. It sticks way out on the sides and it's just a hindrance on the boat. So what I'm gonna do in this video is take you through how to make a different, more minimalist version of a sun visor to keep the glare off your screen and your eyes on the fish. Before we jump in, let's look real quick at the materials that you'll need in order to make your own fish finder visor out of Kydex. So as you can see here, a Kydex sheet on the bottom right, and then if we go around clockwise, we have box cutter, shears, tape measure, a square, a heat gun, gloves that are insulated so you can work with the hot Kydex, and then some adhesive Velcro. I have it all linked in the description so you can use the same products that I use in this video. For those that have never used Kydex, it's a type of plastic sheet that you can use heat in order to soften and mold. Uh, so you can fold it, you can bend it, and it'll keep the permanent shape once you're done. And the way that I cut it when it's a flat sheet is unlike most people do. Most people use shears and you can do that. But in this case, I'm just trying to cut this down to a more workable size. So what I did is I grabbed a square, I, I measured out a line across it, and I'm just basically scoring the sheet a little bit more every time I pass over. So in this case, I did three or four passes with the razor blade, and I go from top to bottom, I make sure that I get both sides, and uh, you know, you don't even have to go all the way through, but then you just take it, you turn it, you put it on the side of the counter, and you just bend it along that line, and you'll see it snaps right off, and you got two clean pieces of Kydex left so that you can start working. Now we have the Kydex cut, and it's time to start measuring out where we're going to start putting in the first folds on the Kydex. And what you're doing is looking straight down, and I'm marking off on the edges on the sides where I'm going to bend it down around the sides of the fish finder. So using a square, uh, using a pen, you can use a pen or a pencil, and just marking the straight line so that I know exactly where I want the, the fold to go once I heat it up. Um, so that it, it'll fit tightly over the top of the fish finder. Uh, I've already done the one side, so this is the second side. And then at the end, this is something that a lot of people forget. Make sure that you just grab your tape measure, put it from line to line, and make sure that it is the proper width so that it'll fit over the top of that, that fish finder. Now is the fun part of making a Kydex visor, and that's where you start heating it up. So I'm using a heat gun and I'm just running it along the length of that line that I just drew in order to get it really hot. Now once it gets hot, you'll see that you'll start to see some, a little indent in the middle of the kydex there, and then there'll be some more uh, areas where you can see it's getting a little misshapen. It's getting soft at that point, so then what you'd wanna do is put down the heat gun, line it up so it's perfectly straight on that line, and all you have to do is just right here, press down, and it'll, it'll take on the shape of that 90 degree angle at the edge of the counter, and you just kind of work it along there so that you get that nice sharp angle. Now keep in mind, Kydex will, as it, as it cools down, it will harden and it'll, it'll take on a permanent form, but it, you got a little bit of time. You can just keep working it, and of course you can get the heat gun back and just keep molding it and molding it until it's a nice sharp angle and it looks the exact way that you want it to look. Now the first angle is done on this. Now this is the other side. Again, same exact process. Heat along the line with the heat gun and it'll start to get a little soft. It'll start to droop. You may get a little bit of a, an indentation in certain areas. And just keep running it back and forth until it gets nice and soft. At that point, it's the same as the last, the last little clip there. The first angle that I did, you just put down the heat gun and then you just press it down along the edge of the countertop and then you're going to have your second angle on this and make sure it's pressed down really nice and hard so that when it, it cools off it'll hold that nice solid sharp right angle. Now that we have the two main bends done in this Kydex, it's time to work on the back and this is the part that will go over the back of the fish finder and I'm going to put on the inside of the visor and then on the outside of the fish finder some Velcro strips. And that will help hold it in place when this is done. So I need to fold down this back section and the sides on the back 
so that it'll mold around the back of the fish finder. In order to do that, you need to cut a couple of little tabs out of there at about 30 degrees. Uh, you can see right here, I'm just doing a little triangle there, just cut it out, and this is where I use the shears. And then from that point, it's the same thing that I did with the initial bends, so I gotta start heating it up. Now comes the part that takes the longest uh, and the most work, and that's where I bend down the back, where it's going to wrap around the back of the fish finder and make the tab that I'm gonna put some Velcro on so that I can adhere it to the fish finder. And I'm using a square here and I'm using my fingers and I'm doing it just a little bit of a time, at a time because it's only a quarter of an inch, uh, maybe a third of an inch that's, that's going to be down as that tab. So it's just about working the heat gun, working the kydex, using that sharp edge on the square in order to get the best angle and a true 90 degree angle. And I just keep working it back and forth until I, I truly have that. So. Uh, I skipped a lot of it because this did take the longest uh, and was the most difficult part of the entire project. But as you can see here, it's just continuous working of it, holding it until it cools off and it hardens, and then moving down further and further until I have that nice, sharp, straight edge along the back of the fish finder that will accept that, that Velcro that will adhere it to the fish finder when I'm finished. Do a quick test fit. Looks good. Now I can move on. And this final step is really the easiest of them all. We've now test fit it, it fits over top, so now I'm putting on Velcro strips. So I have to cut those, peel off the backing, and I'm placing the one side of it onto the fish finder itself, and I'm putting it on the sides and the back. And then I'm putting the opposite type of the Velcro strip on the visor itself, So, and that's already done here. Um, so you're not gonna see that part, but that way when I put it on there, it'll be locked in on different angles at different points. So you can see these are the last ones that I'm putting in on the sides. And now it's time to just put the visor over top. You can see you can, you can still flex that kydex to get that fit over top really nice and snug. I'm gonna push that in together. And this is what the finished product looks like right here, now that it's all on. In total, it's about a seven and a half minute video, but this took just under an hour for me to do. So it took a little bit longer than it did to make two keel guards for the kayak. But as you can see, there's a lot more work to be done. Popping up on the screen right now is a link to the Making Kydex Keel Guards video. And please hit that subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video.